guys, it's me, Debbie, from the Changing Faces Hair Clinic and Ask Debbie About Hair. And today, I want to talk to you guys about biotin. Now, everyone who loves their hair knows about biotin, but there's some things that you probably don't know about biotin that I want to share with you. One, biotin, as we know, it's a it's the B7 vitamin. It's a natural vitamin, and biotin actually converts our food to energy, so it's very important for our body. And biotin is also very important for women who are pregnant and also women who are breastfeeding. And it's great for our hair, our skin, and our nails. But one of the things I want to share with you is that the FDA just announced last week that Biotin, too much biotin, or biotin in high doses can cause an incorrect test results for you. So for an example, if you're taking a pregnancy test, it could give a false positive with your pregnancy test, which means it may say that you're pregnant when you really aren't. And if you're doing a cancer screening, it can give you a false negative, which means it may say that you don't have cancer and you might do. And that's very, very serious. So the FDA has put this big warning out to let doctors and everyone know that if someone is taking a biotin supplement, the doctor needs to know. Because if the doctor knows that you're taking, you could even be taking multivitamins, and you may be taking a multivitamin that you don't even know has biotin in it. So if you're taking any form of multivitamin or if you're taking a biotin supplement, you need to let your doctor know if you're taking any type of test that this way your doctor will give you what's called a biotin um, test, a biotin blood work, a, excuse me, a biotin based blood work. This way they can help make sure that your test results isn't bad. And also what I want to share with you is the problem with the biotin um, giving the false readings in your test is because of the levels of biotin in the supplements. In your, in your typical supplements, there's usually about 650 times the amount, the recommended amount of biotin. So that's way over the limit. So therefore, it will actually give incorrect test results and it can also mess up your medicine and, and a lot of other things. So the best way to get your biotin is through the foods that you eat. And this is something that I teach in my clinic to all my clients, all of them to help them get healthy hair. The best way to get healthy hair is really to eat the foods. So there's eggs that have high levels of biotin in it. There's salmon that you can eat that have high levels of biotin in it. There's almonds, there's walnuts, there is cauliflower, avocados, but out of all of those foods, you can get your daily dosage of biotin, which will help your body and help your hair. So I'm hoping that you'll take this information and share it with your friends. Please follow me in, on YouTube and also follow me on Facebook and I'm Ask Debbie About Hair.